Coulomb's law and equilateral triangle. Today we will solve this simple numerical which is based on the Coulomb's law and equilateral triangle. The problem is charge is 2 microcoulomb minus 3 microcoulomb and 4 microcoulomb are placed in air at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of sides 10 cm. What is the magnitude of resultant force acting on 4 microcoulomb charge? Now according to the given data, we have 3 charges, one is 2 microcoulomb, the second one is minus 3 microcoulomb and the third one is 4 microcoulomb. And all these charges are placed at the vertices of this equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the sides and all the angles are equal. And in equilateral triangle, all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. Now, we will determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on this 4 microcoulomb charge. And the length of this equilateral triangle is given as 10 cm and 10 cm is equal to 10 multiplied 10 power minus 2 meter. We have just converted this unit from centimeter to meter. Now two forces are acting on this 4 microcoulomb charge. One is the repulsive force due to this 2 microcoulomb charge and the second one is an attractive force due to this minus 3 microcoulomb charge. The force acting on this 4 microcoulomb charge due to this minus 3 microcoulomb charge is attractive because this is negative charge and this is a positive charge. And this force is repulsive because both the charges are positive charges. Now let's draw a free body diagram. Now the force acting on this 4 microcoulomb charge due to this 2 microcoulomb charge is along the x axis in this direction. And the force acting on this 4 microcoulomb charge due to this minus 3 microcoulomb charge is along this direction making an angle of 60 degrees with this x axis. Now let's determine the magnitude of these two forces. Now let's the force between 2 microcoulomb and 4 microcoulomb charge is equal to F42 is equal to KQ1 Q2 divided by R square. Now this is Coulomb's law. This K is constant and the value of this K is 9 multiplied 10 power 9. This Q1 is the charge Q1 and this Q2 represents the charge Q2. Now the Q1 is 2 microcoulomb and the Q2 is 4 microcoulomb where the value of R is given as 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter we know is equal to 10 multiplied 10 power minus 2. Now this is R square so 10 multiplied 10 power minus 2 whole square. Solving this finally we will get the force F42 is equal to 7.2 Newton and this force is along the x axis which have no y axis and this we can write it in component form as 7.2 Newton along x plus 0 along the y. This is just the x component of this force and this is the y component of this force. Now let's determine the force of attraction between the charge minus 3 microcoulomb and this 4 microcoulomb. This time again we have KQ1 Q2 divided by R square K is constant 9 multiplied 10 power 9 and this Q1 is equal to minus 3 multiplied 10 power minus 6. This 10 power minus 6 is due to the uh, micro this micro coulomb. So micro is equal to 10 power minus 6. Now multiply by 4 multiply 10 power minus 6 divided by 10 multiply 10 power minus 2 whole square and now again solving this we will get F minus 3 4 force is equal to minus 10.8 Newton. Now the force of attraction between this minus 3 microcoulomb and this 4 microcoulomb charge is equal to minus 10.8 Newton. Now let's determine the components of this vector. 
minus 10.8 Newton. Now we know that when this angle is equal to 60 degrees, then we know that this angle will be equal to 120 degree because the whole angle from here to here is 180. So 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degree. Now f minus 3 4 x is equal to minus 10.8 cos 120 which is equal to 5.4 along the x-axis now for the y component we will use the sine theta and f minus 3 4 y is equal to minus 10.8 sine 120 which is equal to minus 9.35 newton along the y-axis now the resultant force acting on this 4 micro coulomb charge will be equal to the sum of force F42 and the sum of F minus 3 4. Now the resultant force F is equal to this F1 and this F2. And we know F42 is equal to 7.2 Newton x plus 0 y. So 7.2 x we do not need 0 y because that is just 0 y and the F minus 3 4 force is equal to 5.4 x along the x axis and minus 9 point this is uh, 9.35 9.35 this one along the y axis the resultant force F is equal to 7.2x plus 5.4x which is equal to 12.6x and minus 9.35y. This is the resultant force in component form which is acting on this 4 micro coulomb charge. Now let's determine the magnitude of this force and the magnitude of this force will be equal to 12.6 whole square plus into minus 9.35 whole square whole under root which is equal to 15.69 this is just the Pythagorean theorem which is used for the calculation of the hypotenuse this is hypotenuse this is base and this is perpendicular so hypotenuse whole square is equal to x square plus x square plus y square this is x square and this is y square and this is whole under root so the magnitude of the force acting on the 4 micro coulomb charge is equal to 15.69 newton and this is the required answer thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy edu for more videos comment your questions thank you